Hi students, Mrs. Porter here to help you navigate setting up your Google Classroom. So you'll notice I'm already in my Google Classroom because I was using it since last March to learn and to share information with my students. But something that I want you guys to be aware of is also how to find this menu if you haven't done it before. So starting with my uh, Google desktop, you'll see if I'm using a Chromebook, oftentimes there'll be either a shortcut or you'll notice this nine dot menu since I'm already logged in. If I click on that nine dot menu, I have all of the different applications connected to my CPS account loaded right here. I'm going to click on Classroom. You'll see now that I have eight classes, including some here that are um, not as important, and I've left them down at the bottom. But the ones that I find to be most important are the ones where certainly homework is assigned and where I need to be checking in to make sure that I'm doing my work in a timely way. So I may want to take this class and move it to the front because it is, in fact, of a high priority. I have homework that is due on Friday. Then I have my history class. So if this is my English language arts, and now I have my history class, maybe my AVID class, and something um, maybe related to math, and I have them in order um, according to priority or by my schedule. I can move this around. Once I get into this classroom where I'm a student, I'll notice that my teacher, Mr. Bird, has given me a, quite a few assignments that I need to review. So I can click on classwork, and I can see all of the different names of the homework and also how many of them there are. The ones that are grayed out, I've already uh, either looked at or they're not of a high importance. And the ones that are very bold mean that I have to do them. This one is due on Friday. So in order for me to get organized and, and see all of my homework assignments, I can go back here into my main menu and click on classes and see all of those classes again. It looks like Mr. Bird's classes of the highest priority because only here are the assignments that are due. No one else has given me any homework. And so I can kind of relax and work and focus on this one first. So just to reiterate, when you log into your email, remember that you're going to see this nine dot menu. And if you want to go back into your email, you click on that and it's going to show you all of the um, assignments that are coming up and any messages that somebody has shared with you. So just notice that this little application menu, nine dots, is really, really important. And I hope that you learned something today. Um, see you in September and have a great rest of your summer. Hi everybody, Mrs. Porter here and I'm going to show you how to submit homework in the Google Classroom. First, I'll open up my tab so that you can see my. That's where I always start to look for any assignments or any information that may have uh, come up this week because I might see a message that says it's due. So I'm going to then go into my nine dot menu because I'm checking my email and I don't see any assignments that are due. I see a Google Meet invitation, but I don't know where my homework is. So the next step is to check Google Classroom. Once I open up Google Classroom, I can see all of my classes for my program loaded right here. It looks like I have some assignments that are due on Friday. So I better click on my ELA class and see what these assignments are. I'm going to use the Classwork tab to go straight to the homework assignments. And it looks like I have something due on Friday, August 28th. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this assignment. Notice how it automatically populates with my name on it. So my teacher's going to know if I did my work or not. My assignment is this. It's a note catcher, so it's a big notebook that's full of all kinds of things to type and read. So as I continue to skim and scan, I can see that my teacher expects me to be using these white boxes to answer some questions that they've listed here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and type an example here. I'm just going to say example so that you guys can see that some parts of these docs are um, editable and some of them are not. And you don't want to change any of these um, things that have been set up in the template. So I've added some details to that assignment and now I want to turn it in. So I'm going to click this grade box right here 
and it's going to allow me to double check my assignment. It's going to say, do you sure you want to turn it in? And it has my name on it. It says what the assignment is. And if you notice here, it's worth 100 points. So I want to make sure that I get that turned into my teacher on time. So I'm going to turn it in. And you'll notice that Google does some of the things for me automatically. But remember how I didn't fill it out entirely? I only wrote in two boxes and there was a lot more work to do. I can unsubmit because it isn't due yet. It isn't actually due until Friday. So I will show you what I did. I said, I'm going to turn it in and I'm going to give it to my teacher because it's worth 100 points and I want to make sure that I get full points for this assignment. But I made a mistake and I want to unsubmit and thankfully because it is not due until Friday, I will be able to go back and edit my note catcher again. When I have finished my assignments, I always want to remember to hit that turn it in button. What that does is allow my teacher to know that my assignment has already been completed and that they will not have to send a reminder for me to turn it in because the button has not been turned gray. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about getting assignments in on time. I'm going to show you how to get back to your classes by using that menu. And you can see I don't have any homework for history I don't have any homework for AVID, and I don't have a book club meeting coming up. So I should be okay as long as I continue to work on my assignments for Mr. Bird. I hope you learned a lot today, and I uh, will see you in September. Have a great day.